four more books getting ready to be sent out to get graded. If you want to know what they are, stick around and you'll see. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I am getting ready to ship out my four comics that I have an agreement with PGX to get graded. And I will always love to share these, give my opinion of what I think the grades are, send them out, and then in about a month to a month and a week, I get them back, and we learn the grades together. Uh, one of the things that I am very proud of these days is I was able to... Um, suggest to PGX to add graders notes to the comics. And this is something that is an experiment at this point. Um, it might be something that is confirmed and definite if people use it. Uh, it is a $5 charge if you want to use them, but I think it's worth it, especially, um, when it comes to knowing what the books are. Now, obviously you can get them for free if you email them, but if you want them on the slabs, um, you just have to look in the description. There is a code. You have to be subscribed to my channel. And again, it's $5 for, per comic. So I'm going to make sure I have the greatest notes included on every single comic that I send from now on. Because I really love that idea. And it's something that many people have requested. And so far, PGX is the only one. So also, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want one, you just got to be a subscriber. Uh, they are starting to pile up because I got a lot of people requesting, so it may take a little while, but I will put you on a list, so be patient with that. And with that being said, let's show the four books that I chose this month and give you what I think they might come back as. All right, so the first one is one I got a really good deal on. Uh, this is Fantastic Four, issue number six. Now, this is the second appearance of Doctor Doom, the second appearance of the Submariner, and the basically first evil duo. So this is a very significant book and an early Fantastic Four. Uh, this is one I bought about a year and a half ago, and it was a person that I guess just didn't know what they had or didn't care, and they was selling this for 300 and a best offer. So I took a chance because there was a bunch of books I bought, I bought from this person, and I offered $80 for this book, and they accepted it. Now, this is not by any means a 9.8. There is, as you can see here, from right where Submariner's knee is, all the way down is a complete tear. So it doesn't go all the way across. Like I said, it starts about there, but it does go all the way down. So there is a huge tear. The staples are intact. You can see there's a little piece missing there. Uh, the back has some wrinkles, and you can see there's a little bit of staining. I don't know if a dry cleaning will help that. Um, it may not get rid of it, but it could fade it. This is definitely a book that will benefit from a pressing because there's this, like, a couple of them that I ordered from this person because when they sent them to me, they sent them without even a bag and board in an envelope. How they didn't get destroyed is beyond me, but I'm so glad they, did, so glad they didn't. But they all had this, like, ripple effect. So I think whoever owned these just found them in a box one day of a bunch of comics that weren't even in bags and boards. So, I mean, I think I got a pretty good deal on this price because this is if this came back as 0.5, I would still make out ahead. So with shipping and handling, I only paid $80. So um, I also wrote, and I recommend this if you get your books graded with any company. Now, the staples are barely hanging on. So I wrote here, and it's hard to read. Unfortunately, this camera just does not autofocus, so I apologize. But I wrote on the back on tape, staples barely hanging on. Please handle with care. Thank you. Um, I would recommend that with any books that you think might be delicate or something you may want them to know about. Don't assume they're going to take the same care in your books as you would. Because, you know, something that's not theirs they're just not going to treat them the same. So better to be safe than sorry. All right, book number two. This is either my second, actually my third or fourth copy of this book. Uh, this is a book, if I can get it for a decent price, I will get these all day, every day. This is obviously Giant Size X-Men number one. Uh, first, I'm um, sorry. The, yeah, well, the first appearance of Colossus, 
Nightcrawler, Storm, and Thunderbird, who only last until, I think, issue 95 of the X-Men. And then the second appearance of Wolverine. Definitely a key book to get. I've talked about this numerous times. Looking forward to the first Marvel X-Men movie. Uh, this book, I, in my opinion, I think will go parabolic. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I'm sorry, the, the first book, before I continue with this one, um, I paid $80. I'm predicting that this book is going to be about a 2.5 to a 3.5 range, and it has creamed off-white pages. So I'm also including the page color from now on. So this book I paid $361 for. This one is really good condition. Now, there is a little bit of spotting on the X-Men here, just very minor, like little two or three little white dots. But it's overall red. There's a little quarter of an inch, maybe less, of a little bit of a tear. But as you can see, because it's a thicker book, it is completely flat. Now, there are some wrinkles. I don't know if a pressing could help the side of a book. There is, again, another little tear here, about a quarter of an inch. But the gloss is incredible front and back. Very clean. You can see the giant size X-Men is very red. It's not orange. Um, I looked inside because I make sure, like I tell people, if you're going to get a good book graded, don't just judge it by its cover and uh, by the back. Some people just look at the cover and then they, they make their grade. Check inside. So all the coupons are there. This is probably off-white to white pages. The inside pages look beautiful. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm predicting about a 5.0 to a 5.5 for this book. So I would be happy with a 4.0 on that book, considering the price I paid. All right, this is another book, <clears throat> excuse me, that I recommend all the time. This is like my third or fourth copy. I will get these each and every time I can find a deal. Highly recommend this book. It is very undervalued, in my opinion. As a matter of fact, I did a video a couple of days ago of my top 10 most undervalued comics. If you haven't checked it out, please do uh, get those books before they start rising. Now, this book has definitely been rising lately, especially 181. Once 81 gets out of touch, everybody's getting to 180, then maybe 182 or Giant Size X-Men number one. So get these while you can. I've been telling people for years when this was more affordable. But even still, this is a book I bought this year only maybe a month or two ago. I paid a total of, oh, I have it written down anyway because I changed the bag. Uh, I paid $133.99 for this book. And this book is gorgeous. I opened it up to make sure the Marvel stamp is there. It is intact. Um, I also verified these staples that it wasn't restapled because um, sometimes they're just the company, the manufacturer puts the staple in the wrong spot. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't restapled. So you could see there's no holes. Well, you may not be able to see it, but trust me, another way to find out is by opening it up and checking the centerfold. Um, the pages on this are off white to white. This will definitely benefit from a pressing. But, I mean, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. It still has its shine and its gloss. Uh, there's a little dent in the corner here. There's a little bit of a color-breaking line here with a little bit of a rounded edge. But other than that, I mean, this is a beautiful-looking book. I'm surprised I got it for the price I got it for. But it shows that deals can be found even when books are on the rise. I show that all the time. So just be patient don't always buy the first one you you uh, find. So I'm going to say, it's probably one of my higher predictions, I'm going to say about a 6.5 to 7.5 range. Now, of course, this is after pressings and dry cleanings. Um, I might be a little high on that one. I guess we'll find out. I mean, I don't know how much one, but two sides a little rounded would do to the grade significantly because a lot of it has to do with the appeal of the overall cover and the book itself. So rounded corners are acceptable even in higher grades, even in 8.0 range. So we'll see. We'll find out. But the spine, I don't know if this, this might be the only little color-breaking tick, maybe one there. I'm not sure if it's part of the design because there's a lot of lines here as far as the design artwork is. So other than that, um, I don't see even the bottom. 
Normally you see a lot of chipping. No chipping at all. Same thing with the top. So this book, I, I think this is going to be a pretty decent grade. So I can't wait to find out and especially see the grader's notes. All right, last but not least, this is one of those that show that low grade is better than no grade. Um, this is a very expensive book, even in a 0 0.5. This is a little bit better than, uh, than a 0 0.5, but it is definitely a book to get. This is Batman issue number 121. I bought this about two years ago. This is the first appearance of Mr. Freeze. Uh, he was first known as Mr. Zero, and then he later becomes Mr. Freeze. Uh, this book is like a $500 book around a 0 0.5. Now, this one is absolutely going to benefit from a pressing and dry cleaning. Because I don't know if you could see it. That's not the bag. That's the actual comic. See all those ripples? Now, they don't break color, but they are all over. See, you could see it with the reflection. All over this book. So a pressing will absolutely help this. Now, the only color breaks are here there's a line and here is a line. Now, there is some dirt. I don't know how much the dry cleaning can help. It does have a bunch of spine ticks, but not to the point where it makes it look like a disgusting cover. Uh, the staples are intact. There is no crease. The bottom looks pretty decent. I mean, considering this book, I believe, came out in 1959... The only major problem is this, is the piece where it says the issue 121 is gone. But that isn't a significant amount of the book. As you could see, it's just the corner. So I'm not sure how much that will take away from the overall grade. So I'm going to grade this low and see where it goes. It might be a little bit higher. But I, again, I opened up the book. No coupons are missing. Everything's intact. The centerfold is great. The staples are hanging on pretty darn good. No rusting of the staples. But I paid $409.78 for this book. And that's a steal for this because even in a 2.0, this is about a seven dollars or $800 book. Uh, so I'm going to say creamed off-white pages. And I'm going to predict about a grade of 1.5 to a 2.0. Probably will come in around the 1.8 range, but, you know, I'm not an expert grader, so I'm not going to make it like mine is going to be the end all of the grades, but we'll find out. So, those are the books. We got Batman 121, Incredible Hulk number 180, Giant Size X-Men number 1, and last but not least, Fantastic Four issue number 6. So I'm going to be sending those out in the next couple of days. They'll probably be already in the mail by the time you see this video. Um, don't forget to see in the next couple of days to the next week or so, I should be getting my next batch back. They will have the greatest notes on them. So again, I'll find out the grades with you. So hopefully you'll see that when it goes live. Uh, and uh, don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's subscriber shout out. So that's it. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And who knew that the Flaming Torch knew how to dab? Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.